This is Fox 8, your weather authority. News at 9. Thousands packed the New Orleans Museum of Art today to make sure they wouldn't be blue about missing George Rodrigue's blue dog. The exhibit called Rodrigue's Louisiana, Cajuns, Blue Dog, and Beyond Katrina closed after an all-nighter at Noma brought in record numbers. They baked in a line that stretched a block but didn't seem bothered a bit. We went into the quarter first and enjoyed a few things, and now we're here. We didn't think the crowd would be this big, but it's kind of exciting. Exciting because it's their last chance to see 240 of Louisiana artist George Rodrigue's works assembled together at the New Orleans Museum of Art. Because he's known worldwide, and what's wonderful is to see him being completely recognized and celebrated so well in, in his own home, well, home state. Well, it's unbelievable. You know, it's really, really unbelievable. I've been, I've been painting for 40 years and I've had shows all over the world and nothing is like coming home. George Rodrigue made those two yellow eyes staring from beyond bright blue fur an American icon. But his blue dog is a canine with Cajun roots. It, it came out of a Loop Garou a story my mother told me that if you were not good today, the Loop Garou will get you tonight. And so that's what I started painting, this, this uh, Cajun werewolf dog. Rodrigue started his career 40 years ago, capturing Cajun life on canvas. If you paint life in Louisiana, it's a matter of time before you paint the personalities who bring Louisiana to life. Some of his subjects showed up in person. I think it's wonderful. This is the greatest thing happened in, in, in years to this museum and all. And this, I'm, he's got the whole place full. While Pete Fountain mourns the Rodrigues he lost in Hurricane Katrina, the storms themselves are the subject of Rodrigues' latest brushstrokes, hurricanes. Start to finish, Rodrigues' exhibit is like an oak, rooted deep in Louisiana. George Rodrigue joked that Noma told him 60,000 people saw his show, making it the largest exhibit ever by a living artist.